sorry, I have to... I gotta get a USB-C cable because my poor controller is... Not explicitly charged at the moment. It's rough, man. We all... We're all just bouncing around trying to charge our batteries. <sighs> Welcome to Rock of Ages 3. This is the last game that I thought would ever not only be a franchise, but also get three entries. Um, I really... Okay, sure. Yep, just trying to reach across my desk, but... All right. Um... Ugh, Christ. All it has to do is charge. Shut up! Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I got it. Shut up! Fuck. bing a da ding bing a bing a da ding bing a ding bing a da ding Okay. Oh fuck, my mic's not even in the right spot. Uh, I also love East Team. Yeah, guys, my USB's not recognized. What am I gonna do? Okay, everything's fine. I don't know why it says that, because it clearly works. I don't know. There's also a weird smell outside. It smells like somebody's burning something. Let me make sure that that's not me or anything that I'm doing. Okay, so it's not me. I think, honestly, I think we live like on a on a pretty a pretty big city block with like a barbecue joint, and I think sometimes when the wind blows a certain way, we get the we get the fumes from it. Is it a PS4 controller? No, it's an Xbox. It's a it's an Xbox controller that I'm plugging in, despite also having a, a wireless adapter plugging in. So maybe that's part of it. So I don't know anything about this game. Oh, okay, so it's got a map maker. I thought the other games kind of had that, but let's go story. Get ready. This game's fantastic. Big Monty Python vibes with the animation, for obvious reasons. And even the sound. <laughs> Also, I, I played a lot of uh, Rock of Ages 1, but uh, I didn't play 2 very much. I haven't, I know nothing about 3. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Time to play as no one. <laughs> it's ready to rumble. In my first year, in my in uni, my first year halls was down the road from me. Nick Vitti's factory? With a boulder. But I have a cunning plan. Oh, it's very loud. I'm trying to find where the volume's gonna settle out. Tie some of the sheet together to make a giant ball. Then we can roll the sheet downhill and hit the boulder out of the way. The 3D modeling is really cool. I like the Thick, thick outlines on everything. All right, sheep ball go. This is like competitive Katamari. Oh, oh yeah, you can still jump it. Huh. Ooh. Get as much speed as possible. The faster hey. you go, the stronger the head. Katamari Monty Python. That's a pretty good way of. Uh, that's a pretty good way of describing it. Yeah. Now I get it. Rock of Ages. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was, um, it was like a competitive sort of tower defense game. Uh, where one player would be... <laughs> this is the tutorial, I guess. Um, one player would be constructing defensive structures along the path, while the other player tries to roll their ball. The ball will not be strong enough to push the rock at the end. Shoot. The cow really threw everything off.
Sheep. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. They know what they did. Okay. Didn't they have both players rolling and building at the same time? Yeah. Which theoretically is happening now. There's just an AI that's putting things on the on the path. It was a fun game though. One of those rare examples where it's like, okay, this is kind of an entirely new game type that kind of works. It was actually pretty fun. You know, the aesthetic and just the the presentation of it helped a lot. I did it. It's historical. You can learn. <laughs> oh, they're all laughing. Oh, they're laughing. Oh. I mean, Odysseus was kind of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Elpinor. Who the heck is that? I mean, I guess it's that guy. Yeah, Wombat. I was reflecting on that. You're absolutely right. It can be said of pretty much all Greek heroes. Hey, what's up, Greylark? Uh, just started, but yeah, I am having fun. I, uh, this is a, a bit of, uh, this is, this is letting the pressure off. I was getting a little salty, a little, a little activated. My almonds were getting activated by, uh, Doom Eternal a little bit. But really, it's, it's kind of good. It's, I can feel it, I can feel it clamping back on that part of my brain. Like, I'm still thinking about it. We are saving this castle for now. Which means I'll probably be streaming it a lot over the coming days. Which is a partial shame, because there's so many good games out right now. We haven't even gotten to the fall. Top of the hill, and he has plenty of boulders to keep throwing at us. Oh, so now you play defense, all right? Luckily, we are skilled builders, so we can construct. I tried foul play. Those rocks before they hit the castle gate. I was eternal. Ah. If the castle gate. It started are... coming back a little bit, but history. but even still, I I'm still not super happy with where my where my skill levels at in that game right now. But you know, let's start by that's, building towers for defense. It's because I, I, I really did. If you will. I really did uh, stay away from that game for quite a while. So this is me, I think, kind of reckoning, um, reckoning with uh, my deteriorating skill level. The like, the remixes of classical music. I guess it works. I'm a little surprised. That uh, I'm a little surprised they're still using like classical remixes. I would have I would have thought by now they could probably afford like to compose their own stuff, but maybe that's maybe that's not the what they're going for. All right, so I don't understand. Why can't I build this? It is 500, but it is red. Why are you red? Oh, you can't build right in front of the. Okay. Oh shoot! I shouldn't have done that. Well, whatever. Oh, they have multiple. These guys, can these guys shoot through walls? I guess we'll find out. 
Or shoot over walls. Seems like it. Okay, so it seems like if you build directly in front of a rock, uh, they will just roll through it. Like, doesn't seem like, okay, it doesn't seem like they were targeting stuff for a second. I don't understand what this means. Does it, like, create more money for me? Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not gonna... I mean, this must be scripted, right? There's so many rocks. Build a bank next to it to extract some gold. Oh. Only one? There's gold. Nope. So press A to pick it up. But that just A's the build button. Oh, I think I picked it up. Thanks to give you a ton and ton and ton of gold. Alright. Well, I can't get touched in this last round or I'll lose instantly. So let's just do this, I guess. I'm sure this is gonna work. What is that? Not quite sure what that is. Oops! Well, that wasn't what I wanted. And now I can't build that. All right. Oh, Pairn! Hey, thank you for the sub. Also, Bruce, thank you for the raid. Hello, gooses. Welcome. Playing a weird ass game. I know that that's not particularly uncharacteristic, but. Uh... Rock of Ages 3, because for some reason we live in a reality where there is a Rock of Ages 3. Uh, this is a, I guess, a, a sort of tower defense game? No, it's a tower defense game. It's a multiplayer tower defense game. All right, I finally built all my gold, or built all of my... Oh, okay. Man's... Oh, they can't get in. Great. How do you... Okay, that's probably how. Can you destroy your own structures? It doesn't appear you can. Well, they can't even get into it because I blocked it. Because I didn't know what I was doing. So, good way to start. Screw it, let's go. I guess there's a cooldown on the lightning. Or maybe I only get one. Hey, Modus Games. Thanks for gifting three subs there. I appreciate that. Also, uh, Miguel V09, Miguel version 9, I guess. Thank you uh, for the prime. Sorry, I wanted to make sure I was getting it right. Oh! Well, I didn't know they exploded. Well, those are actually not bad. Those... Oh, no, wait. Maybe it's all the uh, catapults. I got another. I don't know about this one. I don't think they're gonna build it in time. Oh, oh, no, you know, it's something. Oh, it's it's done. Well, you know what I've learned. I've learned. I am a, a stronger, more conscientious builder. Walls won't damage; it just slows. Yeah. Wow, that was loud. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, I stacked a lot of, uh... I stacked a lot of, uh, weapons behind the walls. Okay, I got it now. Uh, but yeah, welcome everyone from Bruce's stream. This is, uh... This is a weird game. I'm um, playing this for a while, because, uh, Ace Team is actually pretty awesome. They're from Chile, I believe, or Argentina. Maybe Argentina. Actually, let me look this up. Maybe not cover up the fun cutscenes. Oh, it stops playing. Never mind. This is such a fun animation style. It's weird to me that, like, really no one's used it? Uh, aside from Monty Python? 
I always felt that there were certain spiritual similarities to like the way that South Park does animation and even the way that we would do like really basic keyframe animation in um, in Photoshop and like Funhouse edits. Ace Team is from Chile? Okay. Thank you. Um, but it's fun to see. Uh, also, I just, I love, I love, like, wildly original goofy games. Um, and certain, certainly this game qualifies as all of that. I just still can't believe they made three of them. Um, East Team is also responsible for uh, Xenoclash, which are pretty amazing games. Yeah, we used Photoshop. After Effects, we didn't need for most of our edits. Some of the titling and like graphics work would be After Effects, just so you get that nice, pretty motion blur. But and he has plenty of boulders to keep throwing at us. Look at him dancing over there. We are skilled builders. After Effects is, in my experience, I'm I just got more familiar with Premiere, so I'm way faster in Premiere, and most most of our editors are. We are history. Yeah, Intron D, uh, Rock of Ages 3 came out today. So, uh, I didn't know there was a 3 either. Until I just, I checked out, uh... Defense, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I checked out the, like, the releases, and I was like, Rock of Ages 3? Well, okay. Here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this right this time. Watch this. Bang. Bang. Did you guys watch that? Hold on, wait for it. Bang. And... Oh, wait. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's maximum maximum uh, banks. Here they go. They can actually get in this time. Look at them go! Yeah, mine, mine, my man. All right. Actually, let's let's put these here. They have to go through them, basically. Okay, now I feel like this is a pretty good place to stack up a ton of walls. So I can make a firing lane for catapults and stuff. You guys better not steal my big strats here. I'm gonna be real, real annoyed if I go online and I see the Rock of Ages 3 wiki filled up with my genius Napoleon Bonaparte level strategies. I will be very cross. I will then emo I will emotionally extort more sub money from you guys if you do that, all right? Just tell you straight up. Don't do it. Do not. No. Not allowed. I don't know if like they have to would would it cro would this thing shoot the tower? I guess we'll find out. Be sure to prevent acceleration to the door. Oh yeah, good call. Thank you. That is an important thing to do. I'm out of money. Why aren't my assholes mining gold? Oh, they are. Okay, never mind. So really, like, doesn't it give... Why would I not just wait forever to get infinite gold? Um, and then build, like, a million walls. I guess this phase is timed in the real game, and I'm still in tutorial land here. Too poor. Whatever. Whatever, it's just the tutorial. I don't have to try that hard, right? It's a weird mechanic of, like, scattering money on the map. I feel like that would work way better with a mouse? Yeah, that works way better with a mouse. Alright. Maybe this is a Waz game. I mean, control- actually, controlling the rock feels better with a controller. Everything else feels better with a mouse. That's interesting. Oh, Bitcoin. <laughs> this is actually what mining Bitcoin is like. You don't have to like it, but this is what it looks like. Alright, well, let's 
put that controller, oh boy, over here. Napoleon liked using cannons? Well, so do I. Tell me, whatever, whatever Napoleon did, I'll do it. I'll do it better. All right. The enemy is a rolling. Let's see your pathetic rocks get all jumbled up. I don't understand. You have so many rocks. I only had one sheep ball and that's it. Yet again, nice guys finish last. Am I right? Oh, that's an explodey. Explodey route. Okay, so I feel like the cap catapults didn't do shit. Can, I guess catapults can't shoot over walls or hit units over walls. They have to have, like, clear firing lines, I guess. That's how it appears to me. So, hold on a second. Let me... Wait, how do I switch what I'm building? How does that switch? What is it? The prompt went away. Do I click on it? I click on it. All right. <laughs> These things seem to take out those guys pretty well. That's why I got an ass load of money. Oh, they're not going to build in time. Maybe they will? Some of them will. Oh. Look at this hardcore ownage. Yes. Your puny rocks mean nothing to me. We have limited resources to destroy the boulders. But I see there is a gold mine here. Due to my next to it to extract some gold. Hardcore ownage. I guess you only get three. Very well. Alright, so mm, maybe I should let me try this. I'm gonna try some I'm gonna try something fancy. Can, oh you can't read Oh that's right! That's part of the dang it. No, I want you to unselect. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Don't build. Okay. Um, that's right. Part of the part of the strats of this game is that you can't rebuild over tiles you've already built on. So, uh, yeah. You gotta be selective about when you build and where. Alright, let me try to see if I can find, uh, firing lines that make a little bit more sense. Maybe actually hit something. So God bless these little hammer, hammer twirly boys. Napoleon hated hacking? What? No! That's impossible! Napoleon was the... was the best hacker! He had to be! How dare you say that about Napoleon? My sweet, sweet Napoleon, whom I love and always have. I'm offended. I might ban you. Man. One of these days, I'm going to be a sweet streamer that just bans people for anything. God, banning people rules. All right. So do give you a lot of... I nearly enough walls. I have catapults there, so if I make some walls here, should give them a little more time. Oh, that's it. All right, let's go. Catapult to the bridge. Um, which bridge? This one? Like firing that way? Whatever. I'm gonna watch these idiots get destroyed. Look at these morons. Look at them. Look at how stupid they are. Look at how stupid they look. Because they look very stupid. Stupid idiots. Time. Yeah, one gigabyte of RAM should do the trick. If you can't run a game with one gigabyte of RAM, it's not a good game. And that's just the truth. Wait till they enter my hallway of hammers! 
there a way? Is there a place that tells you how many waves there are? Oh, I guess they got through my hallway. Okay, fine. Yep. How much RAM did Napoleon have? Now that stuff is yelling about something. He had enough. I did it. Yeah, Hammy, you can you can link YouTube. That's no problem. Yeah, Napoleon had two. A real visionary, that guy. Ah. He got down there quick. <laughs> Sounds like a cat. Mm -hmm. I'm so into that book, too. <laughs> kind of gave him little eyes. Oh, whoops! That's a lot of curses. Shitty writing, man. You can't just change a story like that. Sorry, what? What's going on? Oh, okay. What? I guess, it, I guess it, it literally is a rock of ages, huh? Ah. Oh, I have one more star, okay. Rome? Wait, hold on. How far back can you go? <laughs> okay, well, it's a pretty logarithmic scale, that's good. The Earth is flat, this game con confirms it. This is more of a temporoplanar uh, sort of reality. I don't know if this is the world. Can you, can you go to the future? Let's find out. Can you go to Lesbos? Oof. Lesbians are the future. Let's be honest, boys. They always were. Oh, oh. You can go directly to the Age of Wonder, which is just after 2019. Or 2020. Okay. So we're close. We're close. Can you sail off the edge of the world? Dang it. Did not expect a world map. Ugh, this is really something, huh? There's a serpent down there. You can see all the constellations reflected. Turn your castle with limited resources, make the most out of your defenses, and get to the opponent's castle as quickly as you can. Alright. Oh, Pistastic? It was nice getting brain fucked by Metal Gear lore. Right on. Have a good night. I was gonna have you around, dude. Yeah. Choose your boulder. I choose boulder. Uh. Oh yeah, you see them crafting my ball. I guess. Oh yeah, this is right. I get to watch the. Uh, watch and see what hazards they put down. Scout the terrain. This is complicated. There appear to be cannons. Hmm. Oh wait, they're rolling. Crap. Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. I wasn't building anything. I was confused. I saw my name at the bottom and I thought that was me. Oh, it's just domes. Okay. That's not gonna build in time. I really wanna know what this does. Does it just like bounce the rock off? I guess we'll find out. like a shield or something? Oh. Eh? Yeah? It's like a shotgun? Oh, it shoots from the sides? Oh, maybe it like pushes you, pushes it off. Okay, well, I lost. Alright, I guess, I guess it like maybe 
sends blasts out to the sides. God damn you, Caesar. What's Da Vinci's tank? Ah, oh, okay. What did the tank do? It doesn't tell you your items here either. Oh wait, it did! Dang it, it was right there. There's gotta be a way to see, like, unit info? No? We don't do that here? That's fine. You know, that's- a oh. So, like... How much is this game? It was 30. I never, I gotta be honest, I never especially got into, like, the multiplayer scene? Uh... I just love the concept so much. Bottom left tells you if you can roll. Huh, why would I roll? I'm on, like, defense, right? Okay, oh, that's right, you can roll against their castle. But, like, they get me right away, so... Oh, so they just, they roam around. Okay, sick. Knocked off their rocks, so that's something. Oh, the music changes when you're rolling. Okay, I like that. Never mind. Ugh. What happens if you just hit C? I spawn, but. Maybe, maybe the idea is okay. I think I get it. I have to deploy the tanks to slow them down so I can roll and hit their, hit their castle before they get to mine. It's not about stopping their rock, it's about slowing it down so I can roll. Um, would it be odd to ask for a signed photo of you? You're someone to look up to, and it'd be amazing to have framed my other idols. Uh, no, that's totally fine. I just don't have any photos of me. Um, I can try and figure something out, though. I'm sure I can figure something out. Oh, wait, it goes that way? Okay, spend all my money. Uh, let's go. But like, I guess you have to just build super fast and roll as soon as you can. Oh, they they get tanks too? That's BS. Uh, video games, you guys. Why can't they just let me win? No! Oh! I went through a suck tube. Suck tube! Go, 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 go! I mean, okay, so the castle's there. Jeez, alright. Jeez. Okay, womp womp womp. I need to find a, like, a really good place and just slap a ton of tanks, tanks down right in a row. I think, yeah, you have to spawn your your rock right away. Also, like, I just think my tanks weren't in a good spot. Uh, like, uh, so that's the fin- wait, what? I don't- this is my castle, right? This is the one I'm trying to defend? things get momentum they don't lose it King Jumbo Jacks thanks for the prime sub that's a really harsh sound god help me Napoleon I need you
crap. No, stop! Uh, this game seems harder than the previous adaptations. Yeah, I don't I don't recall getting uh getting tore up so hard by the AI. Maybe uh yeah, maybe my tank placement is no good. His door is definitely made of straw. Okay. Yeah, I just got to get there first. <sighs> Which I guess just rela relates to having better tank placement. Tanks did slow it enough that it failed the first jump at the base. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. I'm just, I, like, I don't understand what I'm staring at right now. Oh, that's my starting line. It's like a checkered line, so I'm like, why? Put traps into areas where they have to slow down. Yeah. I guess turns them. Also, like, I can definitely get through this course faster. I'll protect you. Not super familiar. Uh, with the uh, controls. Yeah. Hey, Coil Twitch bot. Thanks for the cheer. Having a very successful and productive night of making shitty scorpions rage quit in Mortal Kombat. How's your night? That's a that's a good use of an evening. Yeah, once you once you know Scorpion's combos, he's pretty easy to shut down, and it is great because yeah, people uh, people don't often if they're just rattling out the same combos as Scorp, they typically don't know how to react to that. Um, so that's fun. So thank you for thank you for doing the Lord's work. Oh boy, I think we got it. Yeah. Caesar runs these courses clean. Yeah, well, he doesn't do shit now, does he? That's right. Yeah. Get out of here. I feel like you skipped a level or two? I mean, it was the next... I couldn't unlock anything else. Um, maybe. It is possible that I just didn't understand the world map. I guess I can unlock this one, too. Oh, yeah, maybe this is where I should go. Encyclopedia and Isles War. Yeah, you're right. You right. Cast them. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty bizarre game. Uh, yeah, good call there. Oh, flying elephant or flying bison? Hmm. Enjoying the storytelling so far. Yeah. Kind, kind of. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I I can say yes to that. You're already rolling, you ass. You can't do that. Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, that's why that's there. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult to track the cannons. Are they? Is that a cow ball? That appears to be a cow ball. Yeah. God. Dang it. I wiggled the stick so hard I popped the cap off. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, with Psychotic Panda, I, I actually, I really like the uh, the way that they animate the cutscenes, the little Monty Python-esque, a little, uh, um, barely intelligible gurgles are really fun. What the heck? I, I guess they're traps or something. And I want the cow ball, though. But it's a good history lesson, you know? Shwish. Coming for you, straw. Boof. Them booby traps. So wait a minute. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, that's right. I'm just a I'm just a tiny little man. He can just squish me. But this dude is like way harder. Yeah, he got me actually. He won. Uh, I forgot about that. How even when you get into the castle, you still have to you still have to beat the person. So like I'm a shivering little dude. He rolls over me with his cowball. I lose. Ugh. Oh. This game helped me pass my early civilization philosophy class. Absolutely. I feel like it couldn't hurt, you know? Uh, I guess you have to... I guess I'd have to roll through the... Uh, oh, that's right. It's, uh, the cannons launch you at these things. I feel like I'd have to... Uh, I guess you have to roll through with enough force. You can, uh, you can take, take that dude. Oh, it's too expensive. Dang it. Oh, I'm against cube ball now. Interesting. Cube ball. Apparently you have random enemies. It's not a ball? Well, it's rolling, so clearly it's a ball. God damn it. I think, uh, that is the block of ages. Yeah, I guess it is. God damn it. Oh, is that what the little, little angry cow units do? If you get too close to them, they stomp? Shit! Oh, maybe you just have to jump in uh, in time with their little their cow yells. It's just like one of my uh, Japanese Sekiro's. Yeah, okay. I guess that's that's the idea. No problem. Oops. Slight problem. What's new gameplay wise in this one? I didn't play much of uh, Rock of Ages 2, so I'm not a full expert in that regard. Alright. So I guess I gotta back up and roll into it again. Unless that happens. Which it did twice in a row, okay. I don't think I don't think wiggling the stick does anything. Okay. Coming for ya. No? There are new boulders and defensive units, several new game modes, and full-on course creator. Okay. Course creator wasn't in two. What the fuck? I guess you can't hit it in the face, you have to jump on top of it. Oh, okay. Wait, did, did I win that? Hold on. I thought I lost again. Oh, no? Okay. What? Okay. Race the finish line. Avoiding obstacles, score points. It confused it? Yeah. Make him fall asleep. I thought I died again. I don't know what happened, Andrew. You know what? Hey, life's mysterious sometimes. You just gotta roll with it. Yeah, I rolled real good. Sometimes you just gotta roll good, that's all. I don't really want a cow ball. They're so chonky. Look at these chonky cowboys. Oh. Why are there, is there like a two star thing in the lower left? What's that all about? I need that cowball. I 
I got a star! Yay! Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's like a round indicator, got it. Got him. Got him! Hey. Ooh. Chunky Cowboy's like the one from the strip club next door. Alright, well there's a lion clawing at me. He's not leaving. He's not leaving. There he goes. There he goes. Alright, well. That was good. That was a good time. Uh... What's strip club next door? Is that like a show or something? I'd watch that. Stars acquired. Ski ball? Mmm. -mm. Break as many targets as possible. Be the first land in the giant platform to multiply your score. Gladly. So yeah, it looks like they're just they're uh, I guess using the also using the level creation tools that they're exposing in this version, but also made a lot of levels with kind of different mechanics than the the basic tower defense that I remember from Rock of Ages One, which is that anime lines for when you went fast. Anime lines has, haven't been invented yet, so it would be deeply asynchronous and thus uh, historically inaccurate. Which, as we can see, is not uh, the sort of thing this game would go for in any way. This is a game that respects history. Reveres it, even. Also, yes, there's a ball of sheep. You could hear... <laughs> you could hear the giant ball of sheep buying as it... Historically would have. Man. There are a couple of games that I don't understand why they... Oh, you were supposed to break those! Oh my gosh, I was dodging them the whole time. That was really stupid of me. Well, that's not gonna go well. Yeah, you absolutely were supposed to break those targets. Except I still won because he only broke one for some reason. I don't know. See you later, sheep ball. You're 100% right. I don't know what I was thinking. Imagine imagine being a game developer and beholding someone. It doesn't have to necessarily be an educated man. Let's be generous and just call this anonymous person a man. Uh, read out loud. Out loud in words. Which you'd think would demonstrate some amount of understanding. The very nature of the game type. And then proceed to just not do it. Just not do it even a little bit. Actually, I gotta catch up. I think if you get to the end, the round ends. And whoever gets to the end first gets the multiplier. So that's pretty much like if you don't win the race, you will not win. Unless you're against AI who don't want to break stuff. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. I mean, I guess there's that. That helps. The AI only broke like one thing. Ooh boy, that was some tasty double kick for a second there. I'll wait till they mod Sonic into this. I think that about most games these days. Cyberpunk yawn. Actually, Cyberpunk will, or sorry, Sonic will. Sonic Punk. Sonic will probably be one of the first things that gets modded into Cyberpunk. Anime chicks with giant titties, and then Sonic. And then, Sonic with giant tanks. And then the game will be complete. Game of the year edition. Sonic Punk. It's just so Sonic with giant rude titties on the cover art. But it's just like horribly mosaic'd. Like not even well done. Somebody just like, uh, did a marquee selection in Photoshop and... No! Ah, No, sheep ball! Ooh, I'm coming for ya! Oh, 
whatever. It didn't matter, none did it. Did you get a furry mod? Did you get a furry mod in a cyberpunk future? Me? No. Uh, it's... Oh, that's interesting. I only got two stars. Oh, land a six or a five. Got it. Okay. Oh, so each level has its own little little star bonuses. I like that. Destroy the enemy's weapon stash before your bomb goes off. Oh, it's got leaderboards? Fancy, fancy. Big, fancy, big schmancy. See the news women don't sell, sell games? Yeah, the Ubisoft thing. <sighs> Unfortunately... I don't know. It's it's a big chicken and well, it's not a chicken and egg problem. It's a stupid thing to say. Uh, but I guess th there's no but there. There's no but there. That's I don't know. It's it's frustrating because like that's I've I've been in that go around about about media too. Nothing that I've worked on specifically. Um, and, and it has nothing to do with is issues of representation, more the, like, the idea of going against the status quo because it would make something better, or because it's the right thing to do. Open fire! Um, there, there's a weird dynamic in that conversation where, like, people are like, well, all the data, all the data says we should do it this way. And it's like, well, oh, the data is there because everyone does it that way. Um, and the, like... It's not an apples to apples comparison. Everyone likes to compare that data, but like comparing t the sales data of 20,000 video games to like a sample size of like 10 and saying like, well, clearly dude games sell. It's like, well, hold on. Now, hold on a minute. Uh, there are flaws. There are flaws in this data set. Um, and that's that's the kind of thing that happens there, too. Um, that's That's what I hear. Uh, when when I read about that, is like, yeah, it's it's that thing of like people doing a thing that they think is mathematics, and they think they think they have to do it by logistics, but it really is like, no, nah, it's not that, actually. It's tough, man. It's tough to talk, uh, to to have those conversations. Ugh. Did that? I got ramped over it, and I didn't blow it up. Oh my god! Oh my god! That would have been perfectly timed too. Yeah, you lose. <laughs> uh, got him! Oh my god! Your best time zero. Uh, this game, man. So okay, so. Let me let me just surface a few thoughts. None of these thoughts say that this game is bad. I want to be very clear about this. I'm enjoying myself, but um, I think a lot of the games people play nowadays have certain concepts and precepts, and, and certainly a lot of like focus testing baked into their iteration. Uh, when you go like like this, this is more what happens when like. You can't invite groups of 12 people in to play your game over and over again and see what they do. It's like you kind of get an interesting experience where you got to ruffle and tumble your way around a little bit. Um, as a psychologist, that is absolutely correct. The amount of groundbreaking social research that gets published is a student desperately trying to get enough participants to, sit, to stay throughout the experiment to get a valid result so they will pass. Interesting, like, yeah, the, uh, the world of like academic research the little bit I've heard about it is so fascinating. Namely that, like, it's it's not exempt from all of the annoying little human stupid things that happen everywhere else. Of, like, having to sell your work, only being able to, like, invest in what people are interested in at a base level. Like, doing research on farts is gonna, like, just get more buzz then, hey, there's an, maybe maybe the ultrasonic waves could be used for this other application. It's like, if it doesn't save money or get people interested in clicking on articles. That, that's, that's what I've heard from people anyway. But yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it sucks because in the moment, like, that, oh, girls don't sell games, or like, girl, 
female-led games just aren't marketable. Like, statements like that, unfortunately, technically, might actually be true. But it's, it's like, it's a self-feeding problem. Um, it's, it's technically true because everyone keeps saying that. And, like, the few attempts that are made are, are, are kind of... Oh, man. It's like there's there's pushback on it. It, it hasn't hit normalization. I think, I think the problem then is, like, who's responsible for paying that cost? Because that's what it amounts to, right? Is, uh, is spending the time and money developing a market product that is... That, that there's not a wealth of data for? Or that the data might be misleading or inconclusive. Hopefully the answer is uh, companies would be gladly willing to pay it for the sake of a social good, but you know, they're companies, so. That's mostly about funding. Once you get the funding train, it'll be almost impossible for you to be taken off it, no matter how bizarre your research becomes eventually. Interesting. Uh, and of course, those sample sizes uh, biased based on that particular institution's demographic. Such as a college in an affluent socioeconomic area is going to have an inherent bias in the pool than a, in a lower socioeconomic area. Oh, man. I'm on the opposite end. I'm over dudes in every game. I get the choice to play a female character I do. It's... Yeah, I get that. Like, I think a lot of dudes read that as, like, sexual or emasculine. Like, it's one or the other. Either you want to have sex with the thing you're looking at, or you don't want to be a man. Uh, and that's creepy. I think that's kind of like base gamer reaction, but... For me, it's like, yeah, you know what? As as much as I love video game dudes, and God, I love them. Uh, uh, there's been 30 years... 30 years of gamer... Just hanging from the walls, gamer gamer mans. We can... We can... Can, we can add a little shot of seltzer in here every now and then. I I do like the approach of like Odyssey, though. Of like, and I, I know that Ubisoft is catching catching shit for it. And I, I guess the big headline is that they only agreed to make a game about Cassandra if they also included a, a playable male lead. But like, let's be real. Like Cassandra is the protagonist of that game. She's a really enjoyable protagonist, too. Actually, like, for real, I think... I think it's more just the demeanor and, and VO of Cassandra that keeps me in that game. She just always has such a, I guess, contemplative amusement with the world, which makes, like, fits the tone of that game to such a beautiful T. Um, it's something that, that works a lot... Like, Bayek wasn't bad. I actually like his character a lot. But there was just something... There's something jarring about... The tone of that character and the intensity of the delivery. Um, I always want to be a female, I'll be honest. I feel like you should always be able to choose if it's an RPG. Yeah, I mean... Interestingly though, there are things like Disco Elysium where I feel like... Even though I'm only a few hours into that game, I feel like it would still be weird if you were able to choose because while being an RPG, you still play as a character even though you were dictating most of the things about that character. But I, f I feel like there are certain staples in the world that would be even more ethereal if they couldn't at least nail down a couple of things, like what the character looks like. And, and they're, t they're like, you know, A, B, or C demeanor. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, gender isn't really important in Disco. Hmm. Oh, I haven't played Tsushima today. Uh, I'm just checking out a bunch of different stuff. I feel like I made a mistake. I know I made a mistake choosing Alexios. Yeah, it, it's weird because, like, I'm, I'm guessing that each of them play their roles in the same way. So for you, like, Alexios is, like, pretty... I guess I, I don't know if he has the same demeanor as Cassandra, but, like, is Cassandra just, like, bonkers crazy if you choose Alexios? Because Alexios is pretty amazingly, intensely bonkers nuts, and I appreciate that. Uh, certain games the actor are hard to find, sure. Like Witcher will just make it Geralt. I guess that's a good point. Geralt is such a magical and, and wonderfully uh, 
uh, malleable character. How, like, how hard to find is Geralt's personality in the books? Does he just, like, grunt and kill monsters? Like, he has, he, he does have a softer side. Uh, but it seemed like it was mostly demonstrated through his actions, not his demeanor or his words. Hmm. Cassandra's pretty crazy with an Alexios choice. Okay, cool. I really want to see Cassandra be that level of nuts now. Hmm. Cassandra's more cold and collected if you choose Alexios. I could see that working a lot better. But I would like to I would like to see that performer just try to go like bonkers level mad. Hmm. Whole Witcher process, uh, removing a lot of emotion and making him a good character to imprint yourself onto. Yeah. It ended up being a really good, like, video game framing device. Did we try playing For Honor? A little bit. I really appreciated it, but I could also identify that it's like, okay, th this is a fighting game. Um, and at the time, then as now, I unfortunately like playing too many different kinds of games to pick up, uh, like, an endlessly competitive game like For Honor. But I respect the hell out of For Honor, man. That game's fantastic. It's not every day that you get, like, a fundamentally new kind of game like that. I guess it's not fundamentally new, but it, it's pretty new. I think, it, I think it deserves credit for that. I guess I can just take everything. Oh, here we go. Radial array of cannons that fires instant blasts while attempting to block incoming boulders. Okay. I guess it does a little damage. Uh, one of that as soon as I saw him for the first time. Like, you could switch on the fly. Oh. Oh, you can switch on the fly in Valhalla. That's cool. I haven't, I did not watch the, like, any Valhalla presentation, unfortunately, so. Um, I should. I was enjoying Odyssey, even though I, 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 now I wish that there were a way to, to, like, just, like, get through the game in a more directed way, but the way that they obfuscate, um, Uh, like, story progress is a little funky. It's like they're almost trying to make it so you have to kind of do everything. That's what it feels like sometimes. Or that maybe you'll spend more game time doing non, uh, non, uh, like, critical path content. Kind of weird they haven't started rolling yet. Is that weird? That feels weird to me. I feel like I should be concerned. Definitely went Valhalla. Uh, I'm still in Syndicate. Gonna catch up before I commit to buying another game. Oh, you got a you got a ways to go then. I mean, Syndicate. You're uh, it's at Origins then, right? Origins is is a little more direct than Odyssey. If you want to like just get through it. Also, uh, people in chat warned me, and they were 100% correct. There's very little going on in Origins narrative-wise. The game itself and the, uh, the, like, meta story. It is technically the, well, the title gives it away, you know. It's technically the founding of the Assassin's Order, but... There's, there's no, there's no meaning or value behind that Origins story, really. <laughs> and it just kind of happens at the end. Okay. Yeah. For Siwa! I mean, the thing is, like, or what Origins nailed is the, is the Odyssey game type. Uh, it was... It really it really tied a bunch of... Uh, tied a ton and ton and ton of... Oh, I forgot to put stuff at the end. Shoot. Um, it tied a ton of uh, gameplay systems that had been put piecemeal in other Assassin's Creed's into an open world setting. Uh, and, like, open world crafting and all these things, like... It was a real solid uh, evolution of that that whole format. But Odyssey, like, really zoned in on it. Fixed a lot of just, like, emergent gameplay annoyances. Like, the sorts of things you would only really... 
only really see once like hundreds and hundreds of people had been putting hours and hours into the game. Uh, but it did tidy up some like upgrade paths and stuff like that. <sighs> Origins is still worth playing though, man. Beautiful game. And man, like, as, as part of the glory of, or the fun of the Assassin's Creed series, where else are you going to get to run around like a beautiful version of ancient Egypt? It's fantastic. I played the AC series for the meta story, and because of Origins, Odyssey felt it was just made because of the setting. Yeah. Odyssey still has the same meta people as Origins, but I didn't understand much about what they're up to in Origins. So, okay. This is, I hopefully not big spoiler territory, because this is just like general AC lore talk. Um, but somebody let me know. This seems like it's a, it's a target that doesn't exist, but if you are hyper invested in the meta story of Assassin's Creed, but somehow haven't played Origins or Odyssey yet, let me know. There's, there's no way that's a person here, right? Those games have been out for forever. Okay, so whatever. Just move forward bravely. Um, in Origins... Oh gosh, can't remember her name. It's like Kaylee, Layla, shit. People people told me this before too and I still forgot. Whatever. The, the lady that you're playing as, she like stole an Animus, right? And she's trying to find some shit to like get rehired at Abstergo? Is that the idea? She's she's like trying to find some some ancient shit. I think she's trying to find I mean I played neither, but it's fine, I don't mind. Okay. A little more. Do you remember something like that? Yeah, it's like you only got it through emails that uh you had to read through it, and they're like even still the motivation is not super clear. But like yeah, it's like the lady you're playing as, she's trying to get some leverage on Abstergo to get... I thought it was to get hired. Like, she was just trying to find some crazy historical junk so that uh, she would get a job. But I can't remember. I remember there being some business about her sister. And, like, she even recruits people to help her out or something. I don't know. She, like, forms another weird mystery team. She was an Animus super fan and wanted to work on the project. Yeah! I remember thinking like, yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. It's like, you're you're just playing a dork? Like, <laughs> playing a, a video game fan? Like, yeah, kinda. That was, that was interesting. Yeah, but that was like, she was trying to figure out some stuff so that she could get hired, right? Or to join the project. Time to go. Like, time to roll or you're leaving? Thought she worked for Abstergo, but this dive was a side gig. Oh, okay. That could be. It's like, it's it's weird, because now, ever since Origins, I feel like, why even have the meta story in there anymore? I mean, I, I like it. It's just a, it's like we're still going with that, huh? Ah, shit. I mean, I, I liked I liked Black Flag's approach, the like first person intern thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Can't remember what was going on in Syndicate. It just like it's just more in Origins. The meta story was not told or even hinted at with any amount of intention, and it was just like the longest, driest, smallest text emails that you had to read. Coming for you. Yeah, yell, scream. I'm gonna squish you. Got him. Unity had some next level PS meta story. What? Yeah, what was Unity's meta? I can't remember at all. Destroyed. Okay. Ooh, India. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah, I know that- I know Unity was France. I meant the meta story. A person playing video games. Like anyone? Oh, was- I kind of remember that. You're just some random person playing- playing through Arno's story? Play, watch, listen, talked about the lack of meta in AC last week, I think. Ooh, I need to catch up. I'm only on, like, episode four. I stopped- I stopped lifting weights. Then that was kind of my- my podcast time. Lucy and Sean were sleeper cells in Abstergo or something, talking to the person playing the Animus. I remember Lucy and Sean coming back and being like, ah, they're still here. Um, I do remember that. I don't remember anything else. Weren't you just a gamer in Unity that had bought the latest Abstergo console? Yeah, and I think, like, yeah, they were sending you stuff. Oh, I didn't read the uh, description at all. That's fine. When has that ever gotten in, in the way? This music is absolutely sick. Oh, these are like springboards. Okay. Dang it. Hey, try not to get eaten by a monster or anything, okay? Oh, Watch Dogs 2 is worth it when it's free? Yeah. I, uh... I, uh, I got in on that. UB, you can have my email. You can mark it to me. Uh, I was actually... Playing through Watch Dogs 2 is actually probably a good, a good idea. I never had it on PC, so... I, like, got a copy of it on PS4 due to a, a gameplay that we did. We did, like, a... Oh, they got... Man, I think worked my ass. Ouch. Alright. Was Snicket just Lucy or someone talking to you? I man, I don't. I don't remember. It's okay. It was really cute in the first game, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it might be good at this point. Jeez, that's fast. Oh shoot! I don't know it came from that direction. Okay, whatever. Alright, I don't know about this one. I think he already made it past all my springs, so this I'm already sunk. Oh yeah. The stupid little bouncy pads let them roll through all this shit. I am learning. Shit! I've already lost. Good stuff. Rogue was good, but everyone forgot that one. Yeah, it was a... It was a weird side release. Didn't it come out in the same year as another Assassin's Creed? Oh my gosh, this is tough, tough, tough. Okay. That's okay, though. Learning. I guess at best you can make AI fall off the map like two or three times. That should give you the, the edge you need. Maybe. Oh, I knocked him, knocked him off. <laughs> Shit. Got me. Got me, you son of a bitch. Oh, well, I can't be doing that. Yeah. 
Meow. All right. Oh. Oh, it's a trick castle. Wait, is it? I think it is. Oh, that was the guy? Okay. Do you have to just kill everything inside the castle? All right, well, whatever. Slamball, avoiding obstacles, okay. This reminds me of those virtual bowling alleys where you have to control the ball by spinning a bowling ball on a trackpad thing. I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever uh, played one of those. Yeah, the new Watch Dogs. It's, it's kind of a mystery, right? I feel like it's been in the oven a little longer than I would have expected. Um, Yubi, Yubi seemed real happy with a, a pretty condensed release schedule a while ago. Uh, so I wonder, like, if, if Watch Dogs' Legion was supposed to be a sort of iterative release on 2, it usually doesn't take... I mean, if Assassin's Creed is any indication, it usually doesn't take UB as long to make, like, multiple entries in a, in a franchise that has, has the juice. So I'm, I'm a little curious because it, it yeah it feels like to me that uh, Ubisoft uh, put a little extra a little extra oomph behind that game, or maybe whatever they whatever ideas they had needed a little extra oomph. But either way, uh, it it just seemed rare to wait that long because it like last Watch, Watch Dogs Two was like 2016, right? Slightly bummed. Legion doesn't look like its trailer. Yeah, it seems to be a it seems to be a Ubisoft phenomenon, doesn't it? Uh, I need to check out what it looks like. They showed it in their oh jeez, they showed it in <laughs> oh that's what that does. Okay, <laughs> delightful. Um, they showed it in their their recent conference, right? I need to go back and watch that. God damn it! God damn it, Steve! Oi! A spider verse aesthetic Ooh, that'd be cool i think that fit the sort of like cool tech like youth techie vibe to to say it in the most lame way possible what the heck Overshooting those uh, those bouncy pads is a weird situation. Like I don't know how you know if you're going too fast or too slow. Somebody put that ninja command in chat. Tell me what I gotta do. Like I feel like that's a problem the AI is not gonna make. Yeah. That's a mistake the AI is not gonna make. Thank you, Wawila. You know, I appreciate you. Watch Dogs 1 reveal looks better than Watch Dogs Legion. Man, really? That was a hell of a reveal, though. Man, that was pretty legendary. I know it didn't quite get there in a lot of people's minds. I think... Yeah, I think I can see why, but... Oh... It takes me a second to remember it's about... What the hell was that? Oh. It's about ninja, not ninjas. It could be about both. Let's be, let's be real. These words of wisdom apply to anyone in a... Uh, an intense, competitive field that demands everything from you all the time. I would say, in fact... Being a streamer these days is much like being a world-class assassin. It requires top-level uh, reaction times, 
combat abilities, world class combat abilities. Uh, just the mental toughness uh, and the ability to read anyone instantly, download minds. This is what streamers do every day. Hi, for Hitman 3. Yeah. I'm, I'm g g glad they're... Oh, sorry. I was going to fall. G g g I'm glad they're still making Hitman. It's such a great series. That's one of those things like... Hitman's still around. Mortal Kombat's still around. Like, there's a lot of franchises that I just wouldn't have expected would have stood the test of time. Like Resident Evil. I mean, they're good and they're popular, but... Exactly, Jason. I have Yukata, therefore I am Ninja. I sometimes I get tired. Oh, that was a hell of a combo. Sometimes I get a little tired of being the world's number one video gamer and entertainer. I'll admit it. Sometimes even Ninja gets a little tired, but you know what I do? Then I try harder. I drop the persona. I become Lawrence Sontag. Professional video game streamer. On the up and up. Beaten games, saving lives, keeps the hunger bright, keeps the burning, keeps the passion burning. Oh! <laughs> Hitman being a thing is still, or Hitman still being a thing is genuinely insane to me. Thank you, Werewolf. Yeah, I, there's some games that I'm like, why is it still, I mean, Rock of Ages 3 of all things, but some games just hit, I guess. Mario 7 was too enjoyable. Yeah. R7 was was real return to form time. I mean, I get I get like asking for thinking about getting excited about a Resident Evil 4 HD, but how would that game be better than 7? Man. And also 4 is is closer to the actiony side of Resident Evil, which a lot of people seem to not like so much. So, I don't know, it's interesting. Or I guess maybe... No, that's not true. I guess more a lot of people thought that the balance was perfect in 4. And then got 2 action-y in 5 and 6. Which, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I'd rather have a 5 remake? Shit was bonkers, yeah. I was, I was so proud of Capcom... This is gonna sound sappy as hell. But I was proud of Capcom for, uh... Taking, taking risks with five and making a really fun game. Seven was bad because different? Did anyone say that? I thought consensus about seven was that it was a master class return to form kind of game. Look at me not turning on these lights. Also, I'm sorry, I missed, I've missed a ton of sub activity. Oh my gosh, how much have I missed? I've just been zoned into rolling rocks. King Jumbo Jacks, thank you. Quark4, thanks for the Prime. Uh, Twitchbot and Gafgarian, thank you for the cheer and sub, respectively. Rozzy, thank you for the cheer. Helfrick, it's like we're at a party. Uh, thanks for the Prime sub. Captain Chris, thanks for the Prime. Trey, thank you for gifting a sub to sub to Twitch TV slash Sirlar. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. That's... Some queuing on shit. Drewmaster, 5,000. Thank you for the cheer. Zach Turbo, thanks for the prime. And Krapiza. Thank you all so much. Shoot. I've just been... I've been zoned out here on my lonesome. Letting you guys know what a burden I carry. Being a... Oh, no! Professional streamer. That one was on me. Uh, let's hope that's not broken. <sighs> I had to turn on the lights in here. Okay. Wish they would remake Metal Gear like they did with RE. What if they did a remake of Metal Gear? Not solid. Cool. This is some like X-Men intro right here. Nice. I 
That's an awesome and colorful cast of characters. Is this fucking X-Men? Yeah, it seems like it. It's gotta be an X-Men robot. Yeah, it had like the title cards and everything, or the name cards. And this game clearly doesn't shy away from, uh, from goddamn memes. But like... I'm always fascinated when a game, like a game uses a... A reference like that. Cause like... The team is from Chile. I guess they still had X-Men over there. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, okay, let me see here. Gotta use tiger mode. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you can, like, you can go off the path to destroy, uh... That, that, that makes sense. That's neat. Like, you can choose to kind of roll to the side to try and break, uh... In the encampments around a gold mine or something. I guess. This music rules. I'm doing this a lot. Yes. Yes. Oh, you can't see them chiseling their ball? That's interesting. Same time then. Oh, I can't afford it. All right, screw it. Let's go. Cindy Dragon Ball. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess him up. Get your economy out of here. Oh, you take their gold too? Hell yeah. Mars bears. And it would have to be like layers bears. But then, but like, I've kind of gone through this before of like, well, shoot, like, that's that's fun. That's fun to say. But also, how do you write it out? It looks stupid when you write it out. Got to think about these things in this digital age. That's why I am a world class entrepreneur. Slow you down in, in the air. Boom! Oh wow. He actually hurt my wall or my door a lot. Like a lot. Oops. Okay, I gotta Let's fix that. What? No. Oh, can't build here? It's not. Fired up some Watch Dogs 2, and I'm struggling between going, lol, this is some dumb shit they think millennials like. And wait, but this is the type of thing, or this is the type of dumb millennial shit I like. Yeah, it's okay to feel, I think it's okay to feel targeted, but also enjoy the targeting. It can be a tricky thing to... That can be a tricky thing to manage, though. Sometimes I feel guilty knowing something that something is, like, specifically made for me. And still enjoying it. Like, it makes me feel too seen. Oh. Oh, okay. That's funny and depressing. This is Lars Taskbars. Ooh. Oh, man. That's the... No joke. Oh, he got me? No? Okay. Not yet. That's no joke. The best... Like, the best... The best uh, attempt that I think I've heard. Oh, my gosh. There's a little cow back there. Stop. That was not faster. 
oh, it's how you feel about Marvel movies? It's like, damn it, this is stupid and I shouldn't like it, but I do. Oh boy, I got bad news. I got bad news, sheep ball. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen. Shit. I have to go, like, level up or something. Yeah, like, ugh. Ain't happening. What? Got him. I don't know about this. Well, I got him a little bit. I'm shooting at him. I think the more damage that the uh, the ball takes, the less damage it does to your door, right? Oh, let's see. If he gets me here, that might be it. Yerp. that tongue go though <sighs> okay this is a hell of a game I think I might get back to it someday but uh I want to move on to Mario Paper Mario almost said Mario Party MP swapped whatever uh do you play against other players or AI in Rock of Ages the story is is uh the story is AI but yes it is a multiplayer game so you can play against other humans and it's pretty fun uh, it's, it's, it's a weird game to wrap your head around competitively, uh, and I don't know that I ever really did. Hey, Saint of Swole. Evening glorious chat. Hello. Hope everyone's having a good start to their week. Pretty much, yeah. Paper Mario. Mario, Paper Mario, Mario, Paper, but also Mario. Exactly, Knight. Okay. Quick break time. Get up, stretch my legs a little bit. Roll these shoulders out again. Feeling pretty good right now. And then uh, we'll get into Paper Mario time. Uh, I'm excited to play more of that game. See you guys soon.